get mad at me today so if you can't take constructive criticism baby keep on scrolling many of you women are not really what you think you're cracked up to be like some of y'all are really not great people to be in relationships with y'all know i work with couples every single day and i'm gonna go ahead and make a list of everything that i have to work through first things first quit coming into relationships trying to make a man secure your insecurities that's your job if you lack confidence if you have low self-esteem if there's still trauma that you're operating in if you're self-critical if you're judgmental when it comes to yourself if you blame yourself if you're still operating in guilt and trauma and everything else baby that's for you to handle not him respect his space like stop becoming so preoccupied and hyper aware of what a man has going on as soon as you see his mood is off a little bit you start becoming overwhelming what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong let me tell you how men are a lot of men when they are going through stuff they may end up withdrawing or retreating because they're trying to figure it out they're not always upset at you their moods are not changing just because of you people go through things in a way that men are they don't express themselves as much as we do as women it's okay give that man some space oh yeah the clinginess Clinginess is cute to an extent, baby, but once you become codependent and you're always getting jealous whenever this person goes out and you become anxious whenever they're not around you, you start blowing up their phones or they gonna hang out with their friends, that is problematic and you're gonna push them away. As much as many of you all don't wanna believe it, it's absolutely okay for a man to admire another woman. As long as it is a quick look, boom, and he's not staring and he doesn't have a wandering eye and he's not impulsive and he's not a cheater, if he's all of those, baby, why are you with him in the first place? You're ignoring the red flags, you're settling. As long as that man is not window shopping or ordering off of the menu relax he has a visual appetite if he sees a beautiful woman it's okay to admire just like if you see a handsome man you're gonna admire him too relax stop letting yourself go just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that you need to stop doing everything that you did in the beginning if you always kept your skin together and your nails together your lashes together your hair done your body was waxed up at the beginning keep that same energy hold your end of the relationship remember visual 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 a man still has a visual appetite and he loves what he sees baby because you're gonna stimulate a whole lot more of him don't let yourself go because you secured the relationship as much as you want to believe it you're not always right as much as you want to always be in control you have to let some things go baby you cannot love a man the way you want to love him if you study him if you pay attention if you actually listen i guarantee you he will tell you how to love him you cannot limit the way you love him to a love language that's why i hate the conversation of love language you can ask a man what's your favorite love language and he can say oh acts of service and you think that's all you have to do to love him no baby you got to study your man stop nagging him all the time it's perfect Okay, quit always expressing your dissatisfactions. If you see he's putting in efforts in other places, please uplift those efforts. Acknowledge them. Show that you appreciate that. If it's something like a pet peeve, baby, compromise. I know a lot of women have a hard time compromising. Baby, you got to find a middle ground. Sometimes it's just not worth you bringing up a dissatisfaction. A lot of you all just be nagging. You're pushing that man away. It's okay. He's not always going to fit your idea. He's not always going to satisfy you in every area. Baby, I promise you every trait that you may have on your beautiful checkoff list, he may not measure up to every single one of them. That's why you have to be selective, but stop nagging all the time. You can't read minds and you can't predict the future. So stop trying to interpret things and stop trying to jump to conclusions. Baby, it's not healthy. It's a distorted way of thinking and it will kill your relationship. Being independent is okay, but why do you have to be so independent that you're unreceptive? Men love to be needed. If you're so independent that you won't even allow him to help, what is he there for? Stop involving everybody in your relationship. I don't care if it's friends or family. They have no place to be in your relationship. So stop involving them. Their opinions do not matter. Their advice does not matter. They are not the person that you were sleeping with. Relax. You think you're doing something when you're comparing your man to everybody else. You're comparing your man to your best friend's husband, yada, yada, yada. And now he's pretending to be something that he's not. That's very uncomfortable for a man. Baby, constructive criticism and destructive criticism are real things. If you're always criticizing 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 you're going to push him away and he's going to end up faking things and that's going to make him unhappy and then the intimacy is going to decline and whose fault is that going to be yeah because you were comparing many of you ladies are not the inspiration that you think that you are i'm sorry to break it to you if you're always operating in your comfort zone and you refuse to take risks and you lack intellectual intimacy you don't go out there and try to learn new things baby you're not reaching new opportunities you're always lowering your confidence you're not really inspiring this person if this person is trying to grow 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 and you want to stay and you want to be on social media or on your phone and everybody else's business and you're not really doing anything to add to his fruition baby eventually he's going to grow without you pessimism stop being negative all the time Communication, learn to listen, validate their experiences, don't interrupt. You know what? The list can go on. Just work on your communication, baby, okay? Now I know some of y'all gonna get to the end of this video and be like, ah, da, da, da. 
Look, if you want a healthy relationship, start taking criticism. Take each piece, if it applies, and let it apply. If it doesn't, then go on about your business. But if you want a healthier relationship, if you're dating, if you're a girlfriend, if you're a wife, whatever it may be, you want a healthy relationship, baby, take the criticism as constructive. Take it as a learning tool. Use it and change. Woo! Some of y'all women gonna get mad at me today, so if